If you've been playing Elden Ring and enjoying it, yet finding yourself getting very tired in the eyes, or perhaps even getting headaches when you've played for too long, I may have an explanation for why that's happening to you, and more importantly, I may have some ways to fix it for you, uh, and I'm going to show you those in this video. If you want to skip to the bit where I show you how to fix the problem, I'll leave timestamps in the description. The main suspect is chromatic aberration. Now, if you don't know what chromatic aberration is, it's actually something that happens in real life lenses. Uh, it's something that photographers call color fringing. And basically, it's a sort of blurring of the colors. And usually, it's something that photographers will try to remove. They will try to combat this because it's considered bad. Why game developers would add this special effect to their games is beyond me. I suspect some of them think it's just going to make it more cinematic if they actually give it some lens defects. But more likely, they just see a massive suite of special effects and think, yes, we'll just add everything. It's, it's like people who just automatically add salt and pepper to food, except this time they've been given a, a spice rack with 120 variations and they just pick the entire thing up and shake it on the dish. That's what I suspect is happening. But that's not the important thing. What's important is it makes the image slightly blurry. Now, a lot of people won't even see this effect unless they see a side-by-side -side comparison, and even then some people can't really see the difference. But some of us have eyes that can see the difference, and more importantly, we have eyes that try to correct for the difference. Basically, our eyes are trying to focus on the unfocusable. To give you an idea, if you don't suffer from this, to give you an idea of how it feels, take a book that you would normally read at a, a reasonable distance and then put it very close to your nose and try to read it. The sort of strain you're feeling as you try to focus on the letters, that's kind of what it's like to look at an image with chromatic aberration if you've got eyes that can actually see it. This can give people mild symptoms like a feeling of being tired in the eyes, or if they keep playing for long periods, it can give them eye strain and even headaches. It's bloody horrible, and games should not add it as default, and if they do, there should always be an option to turn it off. It, it's called chromatic aberration for a reason. It's an aberration. Now, there are a number of ways you can remove chromatic aberration, but they all involve modding your game. The problem is there's a multiplayer component to this game and you're not allowed to mod the game when playing multiplayer for obvious reasons. So you're going to have to play offline whilst using these mods. I'm also going to recommend that you turn off the anti-cheat software as well, just to make sure that it doesn't detect the mods and, you know, try to report you or something. And I will show you how to do that in this video as well. But please note, you are taking a small risk here. I think it's a tiny risk, almost non-existent. I've been playing for probably about 60 hours actually with the with the mods installed and had no issues and I've not heard of anyone being banned for playing offline with mods but I can't guarantee it. You are going to have to accept that if you do this you're taking the responsibility on your own shoulders. For me it was worth it because chromatic aberration was preventing me from enjoying the game anyway. So I'd rather enjoy the game and then get banned. I think you want to get banned from multiplayer anyway and have no interest in the multiplayer. If you're someone who wants to do the multiplayer, you're going to have to disable the mods and re-enable the anti-cheat to be able to do that. So it's a bit of a process. But honestly, you're then going to have the problem of chromatic aberration again. So it's really up to you. Right. I'm going to solve this problem using some mods from Nexus Mods, and I will be using the Vortex Mod Manager to install those mods. 
I'm going to go along to games and find Elden Ring and tell Vortex to start managing that game. However, by default, it doesn't actually manage the game. It will require an extension. Don't worry, it's dead easy to install. In fact, you just click download here. It will restart Vortex, reopen it, and you will now be managing Elden Ring. Now, there is a chance that Vortex won't actually find where you've got Elden Ring installed, and it will ask you for a location. Mine is actually on my F drive under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring, Game. You will need to find a similar folder for where the game is installed on your system. Once you've got that sorted out, it's time to install the anti-cheat toggler mod. I will put links down below. I'm going to go along to the file section and it's currently set to manual download. So I'm just going to manually download it to my desktop. Once it's downloaded the archive, I want to click here where it says mods and I don't currently have any mods installed. I'm going to left click and hold and drag the file to where it says drop files and then click install on this little pop up. It has now installed the mod. It will ask you to elevate. You will want to do that. Elevate. This is now deploying the mod. Once it's done, just open up the game folder once again, and you're going to want to find a program called toggle underscore anti underscore cheat dot exe. Don't worry if the dot exe is missing. That's just Windows hiding known extensions for you. Double click on this. And it should just tell you that the anti-cheat is now disabled. So now if I run the game, I don't get any anti-cheat software popping up. It goes straight into the game and I know I've disabled the anti-cheat. Now, if you change your mind and you want to go back to playing multiplayer, you're going to need the anti-cheat back. If you just double click it again, this time it will re-enable the anti-cheat but I highly recommend you also disable any mods that you're running at this point. If you don't like the toggle, there is a standalone executable called start game in offline mode that will do the same thing. It will start the game without the anti-cheat software, without touching the normal executable. The problem with this is you could accidentally run the game through Steam and that will boot up the normal executable and I prefer to just be absolutely safe. So I toggle the anti-cheat off and force it to always be offline. Now, at this point, you might think we just install the mod that removes chromatic aberration. However, if you go along to the page for that mod and check requirements, one of the requirements, well, the only requirement is the Elden Mod Launcher. This is a mod that will automatically load DLL mods when the game is launched. So you're going to want to download this one. Again, you have to do manual download. I'm gonna download it to my desktop. Once it's downloaded, you again go to the archive that you've just downloaded and drag it to drop files. Hit install and then elevate when asked. Then click yes. This has now installed Elden Mod Loader. However, that doesn't do anything. We still need the mod that actually removes the chromatic aberration. So go along to the file section on that page and hit manual download again. Then drag the archive it's downloaded to drop files as before, hit install, and then elevate. Now, once I click yes here, now I've installed the mod that removes chromatic aberration and the only thing to do is boot up the game and see if you can feel a difference when playing. Now chromatic aberration is the main culprit, I think. However, one of the way you can reduce the effect of fatigue on your eyes is to uncap the frame rate. Elden Ring is capped at 60 frames a second, unfortunately, for reasons I can't quite figure out and it is it's nice enough but any of you who regularly play games at higher refresh rates know that it, it just it's a lot smoother 
and it feels a lot more pleasant. It's difficult to describe to people who've never played at 120 or 144 frames a second, but the game feels nicer. It feels a bit more responsive, but it is less tiring on the eyes. Luckily for us, there is a mod that will allow you to uncap the frame rate. Again, the link to the page is down below, but you do the exact same thing. Go to the file section, you manually download, and then once again, drag the archive to drop files, install, and elevate. There is, however, one more step here. You want to go along to where it's uh, installed the unlock the FPS mod, right click and go to open file manager. There you'll go into mods, unlock the FPS and go to the config.ini and edit this file. I'm going to edit it with Notepad++, but you can use the Notepad that comes with Windows and you want to set your limit here. You could leave it at 300, uh, but I, I've set my refresh rate at 120. So I'm going to set my FPS for this game at 120. And then I'm just going to save. Close that. And then again, start the game. And that's it. Beautiful 120 frame rate without chromatic aberration. Oh, it's so nice. You can't see it because it's a 60 frame per second video. But this is just so nice. My eyes love me right now. They really do. It feels so easy to look at this image as, as I move around. Again, it's hard to explain it to people who play at 60 or below, but you notice the higher frame rate. Not when you're stood still like this, but when you're turning the mouse, when you're turning the camera and you're looking around. This just feels so nice. It's so easy to look at. And, and as you could see, once I'd installed the mod that removed chromatic aberration, this one was trivially easy. And in fact, there are actually a lot of mods that will change all sorts of things, including gameplay, that you can now install this way. Some of the mods require a different technique, um, but I won't be going into that in this video. But a lot of the mods, you can pretty much do the exact same thing. So if you want to start adding new things, changing the gameplay, tweaking things, you can. For me, I don't need that. This game, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game as it is now that I've got rid of chromatic aberration and I can play at 120 frames a second. Anyway, if you're like me, if you, if you hate chromatic aberration and you've been having some issues with tired eyes or headaches, try these mods out. It might fix it for you and it will massively enhance your enjoyment of this really enjoyable game.